What's up, Bobcats? I'm Javon. This is the BBTV News for Tuesday, April 25th. Hi, Bobcats. I'm Abby, starting you off with our top stories of the day. On Thursday, Bernie Sanders visited the Baxter Arena in Omaha, Nebraska to stump for Heath Mello, who is running up against Gene Stother in the election for Omaha mayor. The former presidential candidate came to inform people about Mello's policies for Omaha, and now they can help the people there. Bernie made it clear that the, that the important race is getting attention from the nations. Other than Bernie attending the rally, the chairman for the Democratic National Com Committee, Keith Ellison, also made it a priority to visit to show his support for Heath. Mellow shot of winning could increase by their visit. Hi, Bob, Hi, Bob Gats. I'm Jace. Cassini is the best space pro probe ever built, launched in 1997 as a joint NASA and European Space Agency mission. It took seven years to journey to Saturn. It has discovered more than 45 Saturn moons from the 17 known, raising the number to 62. It studied the weather patterns of Saturn, including the giant storm in 2010, then circled the entire planet. But the end is here for the probe when on September 15, 2017, the probe will plunge into the Saturn atmosphere where it will burn up. That's all for our top stories today. Now let's move over to the BBTV Sports Zone. Good afternoon, Bobcats. I'm Chase. You just entered the BBTV Sports Zone. For today's sports feature, the 2017 NBA playoffs have started and a lot of upsets are already happening. The Bulls are beating the number one Celtics 2-1-0, which is very unexpected. The Rockets and the Thunder are a great matchup. The games have been very close. The two races MVP candidates James Harden and Russell Westbrook. Everyone is craving over Russell's Steeler 50-point triple-double performance, the most in, the most in playoff triple-double in history. But he came up short by shooting 4 to 22 from the field. Is that an MVP performance? James Harden has led his team by shooting lights out and passing to open teammates who have made plays. The Warriors are, and the Cavs are doing good, as expected. They are both supposed to meet again in the playoff finals, but this year playoffs have gone a, a crazy, have a lot of crazy upsets. So we will see how they end off. Good afternoon, Bobcats. I'm Andrew with today's Buffett Binge. First up, in two days, the next Call of Duty game will be revealed, and this one is going to be something we haven't seen in a long time. The new Call of Duty game will be a World War II first-person shooter, and the only thing we hope is that there isn't jetpacks in it. That's all for the Buffett Binge, now into the BBTV feature of the day. Good afternoon, Bobcats. It's Teddy again, I'm back with the feature of the day. Believe it or not, it's been more than 20 years since Bill Nye the Science Guy first hit the airwaves. Now, Nye is back on another show on Netflix. It's called Bill Nye Saves the World, and he says in this show is aimed at adults. In particular, he says grown-ups, voters, and taxpayers. Nye, is that, Nye says that he'll address a number of issues facing society from a scientific standpoint. Things like climate change, space exploration, and also bringing clean water and reliable electricity to people, to everyone on Earth. That's all for our feature today. Now it's time for Buffett's announcements. Hi, Bobcats. It's Javon again, and I'm here with your daily announcements. Don't forget to come out tonight and support the 5, 6, and 7, 8 string students at their spring concert. The 5th and 6th grade concert will begin at 6 p.m. and the 7th and 8th grade concert will begin at 7 p.m. The next trio meeting for new and old members has, moved, has been moved to Friday, April 28th during 8th grade lunch at 1220 in the community room. 8th graders who received a trio application and have not turned it in have until the end of this week to give it to Ms. Donahoe or Ms. Jorgensen in the counseling office and still be included in the next week's meeting. Yearbooks can still be purchased in the front office for $40 until Monday, May 1st. Quantities are limited, so guarantee your yearbook today. Yearbooks will be distributed on Tuesday, May 23rd. Attention all students, are you an artist? Is it time to show off your Bobcat spirit? You can design next year's Buffett t-shirt. Details are on a flyer in the office. The submissions are due by May 5th. Hey fangirls, 
Remember Friday, the 28th, is spa day. Bring all your nail and spa supplies to Miss Packer's cottage on Friday morning. See you then. Due to teachers' conflict, April's Classic Film Club meeting will take place after school Thursday, April 27th. Please make sure that you bring your ideas for the student choice film to April's meeting. If you aren't able to make it to the meeting, please let Ms. Kicken know in room C209. Good afternoon, Bobcats. I'm Kylie, and I'm here with the Before We Go segment. Netflix is closing in on a major milestone. In the first quarter of 2017, Netflix added 5 million members around the world. That brings its total subscriber base to just shy of 99 million users, and the company is planning on a significant marketing push to keep growing. Netflix says it will spend more than $1 billion this year to drive member accusation. The company has found success in the U.S. and abroad with new original shows like Crown, Black Mirror, and the Gilmore Girls reboot. Netflix has also invested in stand-up comedy and exclusive deals with stars. Thanks for watching our broadcast today. I'm Javon. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.